Hi, I'm Kinkas, and I'm your friendly neighborhood synth DIY guy. Today I have a very special kit review for you, a world premiere from Erica Synths. I got this box in the mail from Riga a few weeks ago with two little kit boxes inside. Today we're gonna look at the Swamp. The Swamp is a voltage controlled clock source and random voltage and audio generator, inspired by Grant Richter's Wogglebug but expanding from it a bit. A nostalgic move by Erica since the authorized Eurorack DIY Wogglebug was actually Erica Synth's first product which started the company. The kit comes with everything you need, including the exclusive IC, the Vactrols, all pots, jacks, resistors, capacitors, diodes, LEDs, fuses, ferrite beads, transistors, two PCBs, and a beautiful black panel. Oh look, I have the honor of building serial number one. It's a skip-friendly sandwich with no panel wiring at all, and everything comes separated in two bags, one for each PCB. Compared to the Wago Bug, the Swamp has extended pot ranges, waveform switches, an external audio input, and some behind the panel details like the use of an exclusive Made in Riga sample and hold chip and single Vactrols rather than the expensive dual ones in the Woggle Bug. Although the boards are labeled, I began by printing out the image files Erica sent me to have a nice large view of where everything goes. And the manual wasn't done yet, so I just built it by ear. You have the manual though, so do read it before proceeding with this build. I started with the control board, placing the diodes and resistors. Pay close attention to the orientation of the diodes. I like soldering everything from the top, then turning the board around to trim the leads and touch up the soldering from below. Then I added the IC socket, soldered it up, and onto the capacitors, ferrite beads, and the fuses. My fuses fit perfectly on the component side of the board, but if you got the larger square ones, it is better to solder them on the other side, with one of them bent flat against the PCB, as indicated in the manual. Next, I soldered on the headers and capacitors on the back side of the PCB, and attached the spacer with one of the two screws provided. The negative side of the capacitors is indicated by a straight line in the silk screen. Then, I snapped on the switches, pots and jacks, and placed the LEDs, but held off from soldering anything until it secured them all to the panel. Be careful with the jacks, the holes on the PCB are very snug. I actually broke off a jack leg and had to make an extension with a clip resistor lead to fix it. Once everything is fitted and tightened to the panel, you can push the LEDs through their respective holes and solder everything up. I then moved on to the main board. Same thing, placed and soldered all the resistors and diodes, then the IC sockets, then the Vactrols, the nice tin can IC, and the capacitors. I connected the male headers to the females on the control board and then placed and soldered the main board to them to make sure everything fit nicely. Fitted the ICs onto their sockets and tightened the second screw to the spacer securing both boards together. Pay close attention to the orientation of the ICs. I actually had an inverted op amp at first and the fuses saved me while I figured out what I had done wrong. Finally placed and tightened the control knobs. As usual check for power shorts with your digital multimeter before you plug the module in. That's it, not a difficult build, but kind of time consuming, took me most of my afternoon. Now let's check it out in action. The Swamp module is a perfect fit for me. One of the most exciting things about modulars, in my opinion, is experimenting with chaos, randomness, and creating self-evolving generative patches, crazy noises, drones, and other kinds of sonic mayhem. The original Wogglebug is a descendant of the booklet Source of Uncertainty, and the Surge Smooth and Stepped Voltage Generator. The Swamp follows that tradition and can easily become the heart of some very complex sonic ecosystems. You can use it in more conventional patches too, by adding subtle variation to otherwise very repetitive musical ideas. We'll look at some of that in a future video in my new patch idea series. For now though, let's let our freak flag fly and hear what kind of madness the Swamp can produce. Here we're listening to the module by itself as an audio generator. We have each oscillator on one side of the stereo field and a tiny little bit of delay just because. With the cluster knob at a lower position, we get a narrower range of random variation. Waveform switches also change the range of the oscillation. Square waves are one octave lower than the saw waves. With 
the rate knob at a low position, you can get it to drone a little bit. Now we're listening to the ring modulated output. The module performs ring modulation between the two oscillators. Now we're listening to the ring modulated output as well as the tone output. Now I'm plugging in a sine wave from an external oscillator into the audio input of the swamp. That replaces one of the internal oscillators in the ring modulator section. This is a little bit more complex patch. I'm modulating an external oscillator with the stepped output from the swamp, and that's going into one side of the Chopping Kinky wave folder. The other side of the Chopping Kinky is being fed from the tone output of the swamp, and both sides of the Chopping Kinky are being modulated by the ramp pitch, which is being triggered by the, the clock output from the swamp itself. Folders are actually acting as VCAs as well inserting silence into the patch. I'm also modulating the rampage fall times with the random voltage from the swamp. Now I'm sending the random voltage back into the clock CV input of the swamp itself. Easy way to make a random clock. That's it for today. I hope you liked this awesome update on the classic Woggle Bug. Next week we have another world premiere, which is that nice filter you see to the left of the swamp. The Multimode VCF. Please like, subscribe, support me on Patreon, and stay noisy.